I'd like to welcome you to Water Your Soil. So recently I took a trip. I went on a trip. I decided it was time for me to tr take a trip. I had to do some work and I also wanted some time for leisure as well. So I took a trip down to Dallas, Texas. I flew in through Dallas, Fort Worth um, from Atlanta airport. So this video is going to be about one question I have to pose and I'll basically do my best to answer that question. The question is, is it worth it to fly first class right now? And I flew with Delta Airlines. That's who I normally fly with. I fly with Delta often. Um, I built up a good rapport as far as trusting Delta and trusting their customer service and process and things of that nature. Now, I decided to fly first class. The reason why I decided to first fly first class, number one, was because I wanted to do an experiment. I wanted to see certain things. Number two, I have a little paranoia, post-pandemic paranoia, as far as not wanting to be around a big group of people. So yeah, in first class you're around people, but it's two to a seat, I mean it's two to a row, as far as the right side versus the left side, it's two to each side, and um, you know, it's more space and it's more room. You're not bunched up, meaning you're not touching elbows with the person that's next to you. So you have that amount of space in first class. So that that comfort level right there is why I chose to fly first class. Normally I would fly Delta Comfort since I do have longer legs. I would fly Delta Comfort because you have more space for your legs and things of that nature. That way my knees aren't up against the back of a chair. But anyways, when it came to this first class flight, a lot of things I noticed instantly when it came to uh, sitting in first class. Number one, um, the in-flight in entertainment on this flight specifically, I did a round trip flight first class and the in-flight entertainment wasn't good at all. Like I didn't enjoy the in-flight entertainment at all. I thought the in-flight entertainment was, uh, was a little off, honestly, because yeah they had the black messiah and a couple of other movies but it really wasn't many options as far as movies are concerned also when it came to music there really wasn't any pretty much good options when it came to music i mean i'm sure you know if you're if you're into the type of music that they had they had a lot of old school music i mean i saw some marvin gay they had like a best of marvin gay and things of that nature so i'm sure if you're into that type of stuff as far as in-flight entertainment and the tv shows that they had on there i'm sure you could have found something to watch we also had uh streaming as far as tv is concerned so you could watch espn you could watch cnn you could watch those certain channels so that was cool if it would have if it had been a basketball game on or some type of sports game on I'm sure it would have been more excitement for me when it came to in-flight entertainment, but in-flight entertainment was a little slacking. One thing I did notice as far as, uh, uh, you know, like your in-flight meal and snacks and drinks, we got the same snack and drink that you get in uh, Coach and, and Delta Comfort. So first class, we got the same thing. We got a drink and they let us choose. Uh, between two snacks you could either get like a granola bar or you could get some goldfish now when it comes to this part as far as the snacks and the in-flight snacks i did see some videos on youtube by some youtubers and they flew first class on the same flight the atlanta to dfw flight and they actually got a snack box so i was kind of curious as to why we didn't get a snack box but i wasn't really worrying about it because prior to that Prior to my flight, I was in the Delta Sky Lounge, and in the Sky Lounge, they got all the snacks you want. But the problem is, a lot of people who may decide to fly first class, maybe they had the same paranoia that I had, or maybe they just wanted to experience first class, you know? Because people who normally fly, f fly first class, I highly doubt they'll have a problem with first class, because they don't fly first class for the snacks, I'm sure. Um, you know when when it's not post pandemic yeah they give out more snacks and, and meals and things of that nature but they fly first class before the status and things of that nature you know so that's why they fly first class my reasoning for flying first class definitely wasn't for the snacks because as i stated you know on the way to dfw 
I was in the Sky Lounge prior to that and like I said you have all the snacks and even meals they even had pasta in the Sky Lounge the Sky Club Lounge so in the Sky Club Lounge that basically covers your snacks you really shouldn't even need an in-flight snack or in-flight drink because of how much they have in the Sky Lounge before your flight Sky Club Lounge that is and the same thing on the way back on the way back I was able to go to the Centurion Lounge in DFW and I also went back to the Sky Lounge in DFW as well I'll be posting those videos a little later so I wasn't really worried about in-flight snacks and meals uh, sitting in first class but as I stated this is a review for for everyone everyone doesn't have access to those type of lounges so if you decide to fly first class during this time up until they you know finally open things up and do start serving meals and things of that nature be cautious of that you know you may not get what you normally would have got prior to you know the pandemic you may not get the the same snacks and the same first class experience that you got prior to that so if your issue isn't more seating room and and priority boarding and things of that nature if you're not really interested in that you may want to consider just doing delta comfort or just regular uh regular main cabin you may want to consider that because number one it probably will save you some money well matter of fact i know it will save you some money and number two you'll you'll get the same snacks that the people in first class are getting so i don't know when delta does plan on opening things back up i will assume sometime during the summer um i went during july 4th weekend but i'm assuming sometime this summer maybe late july august who knows they'll open things back up and start serving more in first class but as of now and i just went over the weekend as of now things are not at, like they used to be when you sit in first class so it's something to consider like i said you know it was fine for me sitting in first class because the reasons that i listed you know the the arm space as far as not being tied up on somebody due to the paranoia you know but with comfort as far as me being more comfortable being around people post pandemic then I, I probably won't sit in first class I probably just go to Delta Comfort like I normally sit but maybe I will I don't know we'll have to see but I just wanted to make this video for people who are considering first class you may want to think about those things especially if you don't have a long flight my flight was for two hours and 15 minutes so if your flight is less than that or around that time you may want to consider just grabbing the main regular main cabin seat and if you do have long legs you may want to consider delta comfort but other than that for the first class flight may maybe you you want priority boarding or things of that nature then yeah you should consider but just beware that you're probably going to get the same uh, meal and snack treatment as everyone else on the plane. But anyways, I'd like to thank you all for watching. I will be dropping more review videos of Delta Sky Lounge, uh, Amex uh, Centurion Lounge. And be sure to check out the videos I already posted. I just posted a video of the Delta Sky Lounge in Atlanta Hartsfield Jackson Airport F Concourse that's a dope lounge be sure to check that video out I like thank you all for watching please like and subscribe thank you